We begin this morning with breaking news overnight of several large wildfires burning across the West, compounded by that brutal heat wave. One of the most devastating fires is in the hills above Goleta, California, near Santa Barbara. The fast moving, wind driven blaze began last night, destroying at least 20 homes and threatening several other buildings. More than 2,000 people were forced to evacuate. The fire advanced to about a mile from the business district. Carter Evans is in Goleta. Carter, good morning. Good morning. When this fire started late last night, it moved through here extremely fast, driven by winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour. You can see this home on fire right now. There is really nothing firefighters can do. We'll tilt up the camera a little bit, and you can see those embers flying through the air. That is the problem. These wind-driven flames are blowing embers throughout the community of Goleta, and some of those embers have landed on the rooftops of homes like this one. The fire moved so fast that firefighters could barely keep up with it. Again, it started late in the evening, so their focus initially was evacuating people from their homes. Take a look at this home. There's really nothing left inside. In all, about 1,200 people were evacuated from this community, and they had to leave at a moment's notice. They were not expecting to have to evacuate tonight, although they knew this was possible. We've been experiencing these triple digit temperatures. Uh, for the last day or so in Southern California, you add to that the dry brush, and these are perfect conditions for a fire just like this one. Now, it's unclear exactly how many homes have burned. Right now, it's looking like at least 20 firefighters still don't have a cause on this fire. As for the hot, dry weather, that should continue through Saturday and possibly have some relief on Sunday. The brush fire has forced deputies to evacuate residents in Goleta up in Santa Barbara County. Sue Mandela is live in Sky 9, close to Goleta. Stu. Well, we're actually looking at that spot that is burning out here. Now, we understand that this started as a structure fire that spread into the brush earlier this evening. Uh, we're just arriving here on scene. I, we're, having, we're trying to get as much information as we can from what is going on down there on the ground. But we can tell you that this is one of the structures right there that's burning. You can actually see it in the smoke, what's left of what we believe to be a house. There are a couple of other spots down here as well that are that are appear to be homes in in a lot of this brush that's or the wooded area down here gonna get a little bit of a wider shot watching a helicopter doing a drop right there very windy out here and the terrain seems to be moving uphill you can see some homes down there with some structure protection around them and burning right up to these pieces of property this these flames are huge and the winds are really pushing this stuff around we've been watching embers exploding and falling down along this hillside where is this happening well it is in the Goleta area but they're actually saying this is on cathedral uh, actually cathedral mountain now the sheriff's department san barbara santa barbara sheriff's department actually doing evacuations telling people that are on the north end of fairview above the Goleta area these residents on the side on the cathedral mountain side should evacuate immediately that's what they've been saying not sure if this evac these evacuations have already taken place we can account at least two structures that we believe to be homes on fire right now again this started with one structure fire out here earlier this afternoon early, earlier this evening then it caught into the brush San Bernardino excuse me I keep saying San Bernardino Santa Barbara County Fire Department is out here battling these flames they have one helicopter doing water drops out here but as we get a little bit of a wider shot staying away from some of those homes you can actually see the area that's burning no no um, exact numbers on the acreage but this fire is still very very active burning uphill with high winds pushing the embers back down this is a neighborhood you always have to remember that as well this isn't just brush these are a lot of homes out here and these and this brush basically comes right up to a lot of these houses we know one possibly one to two homes totally destroyed and structure protection in place and mandatory evacuations out here in the cathedral mountain area live in sky nine over goleta Stu Mandel, back to you two in the studio and Stu, just from your vantage point we can see the winds really fanning these flames right now is is this multiple neighborhoods that you're talking about because i know that the embers are blowing everywhere and it looks like uh, little spots of fires or big spots of fires i should say in different locations 
Well, I, I, you know, I fear that those big spots of fire mm -hmm. actually may be properties. And you can see right there, these are, seem to be, this is a hillside community. So these are home, these are roads that are basically going up into the mountainsides up here. And then on these homes, you, or on these roadways, you can see these huge homes out here. Uh, on that one is being protected right now, but those flames getting very, very close. And then uh, we move over to another ridge line. You can see what's left of other homes in this mm -hmm. neighborhood. Now, now we're being conservative with the numbers. I would pay to say we have five to six homes burning and there's only, it, it there aren't that many, but you can look through that smoke and you can actually pick out the structures that are burning.